The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the NASDAQ here this morning. This is a 13-minute chart over the last three days. I'd like for you to notice that we had a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right up at the top there at 15,465. Today, look at this, folks. We went right up to the exact 61% retracement. That certainly doesn't look very good, does it? And if we take, and take a look at this on the downside, you'll see that what we did was we came down and we made a perfect A, B, C, D to the downside. And what did we do? We rallied up to 382. My goodness, I as a poet don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. Now, if we go below here, folks, that tells us that this market could have a long way to go to the downside. So it's got to hold this support down here. We're not very far away. You see, we're giving it up very quickly here uh, in the S&P and also in the NASDAQ, whether that means very much on a long-term basis. I'm not sure, but short-term, it certainly does. But that's what we're watching here. The real key today, folks, uh, all these markets that are going crazy is this one right here, and that's the gold market. I mean, it had a perfect ABCD, if you'll remember, on the long-term weekly. But I wanted to show you, remember yesterday we were looking – for the market to get up to around 1890 uh, and it got to 1898 and from there it dropped 17 dollars down to uh, 1878 you can see the little red uh, alert here that was the 382 retracement it was also down 17 dollars what did we do today we had another 17 dollar correction right here and look we're still heading higher Folks, this puppy's got legs. I mean, you got to be really careful here. Look at this. I mean, there's your ABCD right down here at 1824. And look where we are now. We're $116 higher in two days, three days. Well, let's, yeah, well, let's make that four days, five days, because this is the fifth day of the week. Wow. And I didn't realize that was that good in mathematics. Anyway, look at this, folks. This is really powerful, just like this one was. That tells us that we are got a possibility here. I mean, and it's a distinct possibility, and that we got a chance here at $2,200 gold, believe it or not. And that's what you could be looking at here if this thing holds up like we think it would be. There was your 50% retracement. There's your perfect ABCD. Just absolutely time and price. I mean, it, my goodness, it had everything in the world that you could ask it for it. And look where we're heading now. This looks like 2255 folks, another $300 possibly in gold. What would, well, they're saying 2300 what, what What could happen to that? What would make this uh, change is if we stop somewhere in this area. But this much power with gold up $60 today. We haven't had a $60 move, I think, since uh, Hitler took over Germany. Uh, well, that's a bit of a, I think you better, yes, yes, Johnny, I, I see that I've made a very bad technical error here from the woke environment, but I didn't mean to. I was trying to make a, a point which was very poorly taken. But anyway, the fact that it's moved this much is equal to what it did here. Look, look, you see the big move we had right here? What we want to watch for now, if you've missed any of this, is to buy the 382 pullback. You see this big move we had here? We went from 1594. We rallied $110 right up to here. Then we backed off to the 382, and then we continued to go higher. We've got something big going on in this puppy, so you got to pay really close attention to it, okay? Very, very close. Very, very, very important that we watch this as it's uh, un un uh, unfolding here today. I have to check in with uh, TFNN for just a second to see if our friend Mr. DiNapoli is ready in the house. Mr. Joe, how are you doing, my friend? Hey, um, you know, I, I, I even now, put buddy. on a clean shirt and, and got my hair brushed and combed. And wow, I don't we think you can see me. Much. All you can see is the charts, but I guess that's, that's okay. more important charts than seeing me. Good. Charts are good. We like charts. So, so can you actually see charts and hear me? I mean, are we that I, far along? I, 
I believe my fr my friends at TFNN are telling me that it's a big go. So let's just hopefully that that's uh, what we're looking at. We've got the uh, charts up here, and it looks like we're looking at chaos equal opportunity. Those hey, are the same no, that's, words in that's Chinese, a Chinese literature. That's a Chinese got saying, it, actually. <laughs> go ahead. So first Jim. of all, how, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? I'm about uh, I'm about 50 percent, which is 30 percent better than I usually am. No, I'm okay, Joe. I'm actually doing better. My voice is much better. Uh, I'm sleeping okay. I don't have any more sniffles, uh, and I'm actually really doing good. The first eight days were pretty tough, but the last two days here, getting a little bit better. So anyway, that's what we're looking. At. Let's. You got a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and continue what you're looking at, buddy. Okay, you got some good stuff. So Joe DiNapoli is in the house, folks. He's taking over. All right, my friend, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Chaos equals opportunity. And uh, that should be obvious. My best years, my absolute, been at this 55 years, right? So my best years were, I think, uh, 2007, 2008. And uh, those were tough years for a lot of people. But if you got the right tools and you have the knowledge, when you have chaos, and I think we're coming into a, a, a segment where we're going to have some serious chaos. Um, the last time I was on, I, I made an offer. I did a posting. You can't talk about political stuff here. So I made a posting on the client forums, and I offered uh, I offered that posting to anybody that wanted to email me. I said I'd send it out to them, and, and a whole bunch of people asked for it, and I sent it out. A few people I got returns on. And I think it was a, I was recognized as spam, which is, you know, okay, but unfortunately they didn't get it. Anyway, in that posting that I made. It's not a market newsletter, it's a posting. Talked about a, a variety of political stuff and one of those items had to do with the Mideast. And it's turned out to be prophetic and it's still applicable today. So if anybody wants that uh, posting, which I put on my client forums on August 5th, um, they're welcome to email me and I will uh, turn around and get it right out to them. It's pretty hard hitting, so um, you have to be prepared to uh, suck it up and, and, and get the truth. So we're, we have, we're not gonna talk political stuff, but we have, we're in the, the two wars going on right now. And I wanna say something about that. And it relates back to when we had uh, the issues with COVID in um, early 2020. I was in Bangkok at the time and uh, I've got a lot of friends in China. <clears throat> I've got, uh, uh, a lot of contacts in uh, in Thailand. Obviously, I lived there, so I was seeing absolute chaos happening in uh, in China, and I was seeing chaos happening in uh, in and around Asia, because you know we're on the front line. This was around January of 2020, and uh, I I thought the market was going to crash, and so I got short. Now. Prior to um, the algos taking over, they took over in March of 2000, uh, 2009 is when the algos took over. Okay, so prior to that, if you had something really negative and the market didn't go down, you could say, hey, the market's really strong, right? Well, what happened in January of 2020 Joe, we got to take a break, buddy, for some Yes, sir. Of okay. Bills, so stay with us. We'll be back with right. Joe DiNapoli, folks. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, with Joe DiNapoli. DiNapoli Levels, please continue, Joseph. Okay, um, so it's 2020. Uh, it's January. There's absolute chaos across Asia. Uh, the news has hit America, but it hasn't really made a very large impact. The market is holding up. I'm short up the kazoo. And uh, I'm looking at the market. The market's holding up. So I, all my experience, you know, in all my trading years has told me if the market holds up when you have very negative news, it's a very positive thing. So I managed to hold my shorts somewhere through to February, and I finally gave up. I said, hey, you know, the market is not taking this seriously. The market's smarter than I am. So I got out of my shorts. Thankfully, I didn't go long. So, of course, I think it got into about March of 2020, and we, and, and we collapsed. So what's happening here is that after March of 2009, the algos took over, and for some reason, that caused a delay in the market reaction uh, when we had this horrible event happen. Now, today we have a similar situation. And don't don't worry, Larry, I'm not going to get into politics. I'm just going to say <laughs> a similar situation. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, so what we've got today is we've got a war going on, which could have massive, massive impact. And the market's are holding up, right? And so I'm looking at this and I'm going, hey, you know, normally I would think that this would be a positive thing for the markets and we're going to go and make new highs or whatever because that's the way markets have acted but they don't act that way anymore so what i'm trying to point out to the listeners is very simple it's just because you have a delay you have negative news and just because you have a delay in uh in the market reaction just like back in uh, 2020 uh that doesn't mean that absolutely does not mean that we're uh, we're okay so be careful. My my outlook, my overall output. Now I'm just talking about a one minute chart or five minute chart. I've played with those all my life. I've traded ten, probably tens of thousands e mini contracts, uh, S and P contracts, and just and full size contracts before they traded. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a longer time frame and bigger picture. And uh, I see clearly that we could have a 1987 type event. Now, I was one of two people in America that predicted that 500 point download. And um, it wouldn't surprise me at all today if we had uh, 15 or 20 percent, basically a gap down open. 
So that's my outlook. Now, uh, the other thing I want to say is that I do watch podcasts. Uh, I, I don't, you know, market market type podcasts. Uh, I don't watch technical analysis podcasts because I can't find anything nearly as good as what I'm doing myself, but or what I've developed. But I do watch fundamental podcasts. And what really pisses me off about them is they get into all this this thick details about repos and euro dollars and what the Fed is doing. Oh, Jesus. I go, my, you know, my head's swimming by the time I, I listen to 20 minutes of it. And then they never give you anything actionable. So what my plan is today is to give you some absolutely actionable points. And that's what I think is valuable to you. And that's what I'm going to try and do right now. And I'm going to reiterate some of the things I went over last time I was on, and primarily the bread and butter trade. Now, this was a pattern that I developed in 1985. And what is going on with this pattern? And this pattern is useful for a one-minute chart or useful for a yearly. I mean, it's every time frame. And it is incredible. I mean, and it is working today. And I'm going to show you how it's working. And I'm going to show you the actionable points that it gives you. So basically what we have is thrust, and that thrust is contained or defined by the three by three. The three by three is a three period displaced moving average, uh, displaced forward three periods. And uh, if you need to know more about that, um, I think that's in chapter five of my book. Uh, but the displaced moving averages are out there and you can learn about them probably on a Google search. Anyway, when you break the three by three, uh, typically you'll get three periods under the three by three, and then you get a reaction back to the 0.618 retracement of the prior down move. Now you can look where it says exit. Typically the markets will go beyond that exit point, but that's where you take your profits if you did manage to uh, to get short. So let's take a look down here at the uh, quarterly NASDAQ. And what we have is we have a significant thrust. We have three periods below the three by three, and then we have a move up exactly like the pattern. It's incredible. This is what? Two, this is 2023, last time I looked. And uh, we have, this is what the, I mean, the pattern is in the book, right? I mean, I've been talking about this pattern in every presentation I've given since 1990. And we have exactly this situation. By the way, the bread and butter is one of six patterns described in chapter six of my book. So, we have the recent highs, and that's depicted on this quarterly chart of the uh, of the NASDAQ. Now, let's take a look at the next picture here, if we can get the next picture. Okay, this is the uh, S&P futures. It looks exactly the same. This is quarterly in the S&P. The 3x3 three three is containing the move up, three periods below, and then a move up in excess of the uh, of the uh, of the exit point. Now, let's take a look at um, what's happening. This was this chart was developed on 1010, pretty recent. And notice the last time it was on, I said, look, we are very likely, very, very likely to go back down to the 0.618. It's called a revisit. And the revisit is is, is actually a part of uh, Stottlemyre stuff where you get into market market profile. And uh, the, the algos, which we may have some time to talk about today, the algos depend heavily on the basics of the market profile in that you find areas of value. The algos really don't know what these areas of value are. They don't care if there's a Fibonacci retracement here, there, or if there's an expansion. They don't give a damn. What they do is they look for where the trading is. Now, if we know how to apply uh, DiNapoli levels, we can get areas of uh, high probability before the algos get them, actually. But what happens is uh, this is an area of high volume. So when the algos see that we get back down to those areas, um, and in this case, the algos would be buying. So I told all of you, if you were listening last time I was on, sometime in September, that when we came back down to the uh, 0.618, that there would be a substantial rally. And that's what we have experienced and we are still experiencing. Notice that the 0.618 retracement was not exceeded, not on the quarterly chart. And if we go down a little lower, this is a weekly chart. We never exceeded on close <clears throat> on the weekly that 0.618 retracement. 
So there is your area of support. And uh, if I could read the damn thing, um, whatever that number is, 4309. Are you there, Larry? Are you trying to reach me? I'm here. Yep, I'm here. Okay, all right. So you don't need me. All right. We're still on the air. <laughs> we got. We have 45 thing. seconds till break. 45 seconds till break. So you got 43 seconds. All right, 42, 41. So what I'm saying <laughs> is that this is a high area of support. And this is a very actionable number. I'm trying to read the damn thing. I think it's 4309. And uh, this number is your key. If we get below that number and stay below that number, particularly on a weekly close, this market's done. Now, I'm going to give you some projections here in just a couple of minutes uh, of where I think the market's going. But what I want to show you now. is... Are we done? Pay a few bills. So 11 seconds to go, and then be back in three minutes. So stay with us, folks. We'll be back with Joe DiNapoli in three minutes. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back with Joe DiNapoli, DiNapoli's Levels. Please continue, my friend. You're on the air. All right, my friend. Uh, let's see. I have repeated the quarterly chart showing the bread and butter as I showed it a little bit earlier. And uh, we got up past the, uh, the exit point and it, it behaved exactly as we expected. And now on 1010 of uh, 23, we can see that we came back and we almost touched the revisit point, which we would expect to be strong support. And it turned out to be support and we are currently going up. Now, let's take a look at the Dow. Oh, let's go back to the, uh, to the NASDAQ. 
the, mat, the number on, because I want to give you actionable points. I want to give you something where you can say, hey, this is where DiNapoli thinks the market is in real serious trouble. So on the NASDAQ, if we get down, this is the futures, we get down below 143.67 and we stay there, particularly on a weekly close, I mean, this thing's done. I'm going to show you where I expect it to go in just a minute, but this thing is done. Now, let's go down to the Dow. The Dow did exceed the 0.618 uh, revisit point. Now, I believe today we're back above that, and, uh, uh, you know, so, so we've climbed back above it. But what if you really want to get a lot of insurance, right, you want to see all three indices break below. But for me, as long as I got two out of the three, uh, I'm happy. I'm already short. My portfolio is um, my portfolio now is 80% in cash equivalents, uh, and 20% out of the 20% that's left, I've got shorts on. I got a couple of longs and short banks. What the hell else am I short? I'm short um, the Nasdaq, uh, not the Nasdaq. I'm short the uh, Russell, Russell 2000, and it's working out really well. I'm short to say I was short bank stocks. I'm short bank stocks. I'm long, long some commodities because I really think commodities. Uh, Commodities may uh, may end up doing okay. So of the longs I have left, I want to be long some commodities. I really do like oil, although I've already closed my position here near the recent highs. I intend to re-enter. Now the next thing we're looking at is the U.S. stock market projections, and I've chosen the uh, e mini S and P to show you where I think this thing's going. And I believe it's going to be going down once. We we have to get that confirmation I was talking about earlier from the bread and butter revisit. Now, once we get that on at least two out of the three indicators, I think we're going down to it looks like 33.28 to 31.80, and that is that is where we're going. I uh, I think that's the first stop. I'm quite negative, and I think we're going to see 25.21. Now, whether we see it this year, or next year. At some point, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't do time. You know, like some of your help doesn't do windows. I don't do time. If we do not get below that number and some magical thing happens that propels this market upward, I am going to get short up the kazoo at the COP level at 51.30. Right now, I'm short, but not, not a lot. I'm waiting for confirmation on the bread and butter revisit. But if we happen to go up, I will be happy to sell it further up. Um, Let's talk about oil market projections. Uh, I see the uh, I see the oil market, and we get back to this um, posting I did on my uh, client forums. And uh, in that posting, I give specific reasons why uh, oil could easily um, get up to this uh, 169 level. Uh, if you care about the reasons, I mean, maybe you don't care about the reasons, but this is this is the actual um, COP objective and. You know, it would not be, it would not be out of the realm of possibility for um, the oil market to uh, get up to the 243 area. And if we do, I mean, you can imagine the chaos that, that this will present in the world and in the markets. The next stopping point. Now, these are yearly projections. You know, like I said, I'm not doing one-minute charts on here because I know a lot of folks listen to this. You know, maybe a week after it's presented. So. Um, we got gold market uh, projections, and I, I think the next stopping point is uh, 2715, and uh, that's where I would expect gold to go. Um, all right, so that's that's my basic outlook. And like you know, this is educational. I'm not giving anybody financial advice. I do talk about what I do in my own, own portfolio because I'm I'm able to. In other words, that's that's legal. I can do that. So this is uh, this is all um, uh, educational. And of course, there's a risk of loss, obviously. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any risk of gain. So, um, Larry, I don't, I, I don't know if you want to make a comment here. I can segue into um, into some stuff about the algos because I, I didn't quite finish that. That would the last be that would be good. On. It's your it's your show, so you do what you want. But I do like the algo part, and I th think the folks would be interested in it. So, why don't we go there? Yeah, I uh, I know that I started it last time, and we had some questions on it. But uh, um, algos, you know, just part of life. They can they can uh, contribute to the uh, the powers that be, and therefore uh, no one's going to stop the algos because they've got the money. 
and they have special advantages that are way, way beyond anything that we can do. I don't know how many of you know this, but there are ways that they can put order, special, specialized order in the markets to F us. And I think you know what I mean by F, right? And uh, Fool that's, that's Fool their us. advantage. So they, they have all these specialized advantages. Now, there are all kinds of different algos up there. Some of them do this, some of them do that. And some of them do calculate these fib points like Larry and I do and like you guys do out there. My DiNapoli level is a little bit more sophisticated than most stuff uh, just just because uh, of the research I've done all the way back uh, to when Larry first introduced me to this stuff, which, God, that must have been 1983 or 1965, or 1865, right after the Civil War. Gee, okay, I got it right. No wonder I feel so <laughs> old. Okay, so um, what most of the algos are doing now, and I know this because I've trained some of these people. I mean, I've given, we do private seminars now and then, and, uh, and uh, you know, I've trained some of these guys. And uh, so I know what they do. And basically what they're doing is it gets back to this market profile stuff where they're actually looking for volume. And when they get close to these volume areas that have in the past, whether it's a day, a month, or a year, uh, they will they will uh, turn on certain aspects of their uh, of their uh, of their algo, and they'll get ready to trade. And so they're looking for areas of volume more than they're looking for you know a given a given price uh, as calculated by a fib or anything else or by you know volatility levels or anything like they don't do so much of that they look for for areas like market profile basically is what I'm saying they also um, uh, have a, a great way of screwing you and I think the I think the best way to explain this to you if you don't already know it is just talk about a recent trade I did Boeing and uh, I was bu buying Boeing. I don't remember the exact number. I believe it was around 197.20, 197.25, something like that. And uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't trade five shares. I don't trade a hundred shares. You know, my, my minimum orders are are in the thousands. Um, in this particular case, I think I was buying 750 or a thousand Boeing, and uh, that order. I, I had other things to do. I'm going through some medical crap, so I was busy, and so I wasn't watching the market, and I wasn't trading short term. We got to so take I a break here, Joe. Stay with us. We got one more break yes, to sir. go. We'll be right back with Joe DiNapoli in three minutes, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back with Joe DiNapoli, and he's talking to us about the bread and butter power pattern. Please continue, Joe. Okay, so my bid in Boeing is, let's say, it's 197.21. And remember, I'm only trading at a, a strong DiNapoli level. It's the only way I trade, whether it's buying or selling in this case. So the, the algos already know that there is a range around that number that's going to be solid. Now, they may not have their orders in there right now, but what they're doing is they are also looking to buy in this area. So my order's in there at 197.21. Now, we're going we're gonna to go through two different scenarios. One is I'm at the doctor getting probed, and the other is I'm at the screen. So I'm at the doctor getting probed, and here we are um, uh, coming down. We're at 197.38, 197.37 on the bid, 197.76. Okay, now what's going to happen is the Allos know this is an area of buying. So what they're going to do is they're going to be turned on and looking for orders because they can see all the orders. I mean, they have all the advantages because they pay all the right people. All right, so um, they're going to look at my order. Let's say I got a thousand shares, not a lot of money, you know, a couple hundred thousand. So. Boom, they, got, they see my order at 21. So what they're going to do is they're going to front run me. They're going to front run, run me at, say, 197.28. They're going to put their resting order in there. And here's the way they do it. If they get filled at 197.28, they got basically a $0.07 cent risk because if the market goes against them and starts to, to fall apart, now, remember, we're in an area of strong, strong support. The market does go against them. They can shove that 1,000 shares into me because I got a bid below them. So they have infinity potential profit objective. Not that Boeing would go to infinity, but, you know, theoretically. But they only have a $0.07 cent loss. So um, basically, they have a riskless trade. And that's the way these guys trade. And that's why when you see... Um, you see some of the results of some of these algo trading systems. You know, they've got 99.5% winners. Well, they do it because they have the ability to screw you. And they're given that ability by the powers that be, which are three letter agencies, which I won't mention here because it'll probably piss someone off. But I think you can figure it out. Now, let's imagine I'm at the doctors. Nothing I can do about this if I'm at the doctors um, because my order is sitting there at 197.21 and I can't change it because I don't. You know, I'm not going to screw around on my four-inch iPhone trying to play games with a powerful algo. So I'm screwed. If I get filled, I'm probably wrong. If I don't get filled, I, don't, I can't make money. Um, if I am wrong, well, I'm hopefully smart enough to get out of it or maybe even make some money. But let's take the other uh, example. Let's say I'm in front of my screen and I see... I can, I can see the bid of the algo at uh, 197.28. So their bid is sitting at 197.28, and you might be saying, hey, Joe, why don't you just go to a 32? So I put my order in at 197.32, and the next thing I know, they front run me at 197.39. One, 
So I'm in the same exact position as they are. Well, here's a trick you can use to F the algos. You sit there with two re orders ready to go, right? Now the market's down at 197.40, and then let's say that's fine with you. You need to go mind paying 197.40, but um, here's how you get it. You cancel your order. If you cancel your order at 197.21, the algos testicles go right up into their nipples and they go, oh shit, I'm, I'm exposed. I might have a loss here, okay? So what they do is they close their order, then you can go back in at the market and grab it. That's if you're sitting in front of your screen. So um, these are the kind of games that you need to play if you're gonna be playing with the algos. And unfortunately, the algos are everywhere. I've seen, I've seen them playing games like this with people with 200, you know, 200 shares on a $30 stock. I mean, you'd think it wouldn't be much money, but what do they care? You know, if they can screw you and make a little bit of money in the, in the process, why not? And uh, so and basically that's, that's how the algos work. And that's why if you're right, that's why it's so hard to make money is because when you're right, they take the position away from you. And if you're wrong, well, you're wrong. Let me know what happens then. Um, so that's about it with the algos. I, let me give you a quick advertisement here. I think we get enough time. Uh, you can buy trading with the Napoli levels at $99 through Sunday night, midnight. Along with it, you get um, 60 days free on the client forums. If you want to try out software, um, you get a 30-day trial. The indicators and everything will give you for 30 days. You've got to buy the book for 99 Free shipping in the U.S., overseas, we have to charge something. I don't know exactly what it would be. And there's a guy named Peter Van White. He is down in South Africa, and he is just gold, and he does our newsletter. You get uh, you get a 30 days free for the newsletter, which I would recommend that you first study the book. You have 60 days to, to get the, the newsletter for free for a month, and you have... Uh, you have 60 days on the forum, so let it go a little bit so that you know what you're doing by the time you sign up for these things because the newsletter and the forums have a sophistication level, which is significant and, uh, and good. So the advertisement's done. The algos are done. My actionable trades are done. And Larry, I don't know how much time we have left, but if there's any questions, I'm happy to... Okay. Happy to answer any questions, or if you and I just want to talk a bit about the markets, that's fine too. Well, you're doing a great job. Uh, we have a question for one of our listeners in Wichita, Kansas, and he's asking if you use open interest uh, or volume in any of your analysis. Uh, the, the yes and no. By default, when you trade the right, and I emphasize the right, the correct Fibonacci levels. You are, you are gonna be trading in areas of high volume and, and, and when open interest, you get open interest changes, et cetera. So um, I don't look at them specifically. What I do is I, is I look at them uh, in a roundabout manner just by knowing where these levels are. These levels are incredibly, uh, incredibly powerful if you know how to generate them. I certainly believe it. We have one other question regarding your gold. Um, comment and the question is do you see anything that would cause gold to rally three hundred dollars from here other than the technical part or is just technical do i see anything by the way can you see me larry i just changed the you're looking terrific man you're looking absolutely oh, yeah, great well, i didn't want to put on this nice new shirt for nothing um <laughs> okay uh, uh absolutely i mean <laughs> Are there reasons? There are so many reasons for gold to go absolutely through the roof. I can't talk about any of them. None. Okay. <laughs> then, no, really. I'm serious. Okay. S if you're interested and you got, you know, and you're and you're tough and you can handle straight talk, just send me uh, send me your email address and I will send you out that commentary, a political commentary. And um, I pro. Oh, are you kidding? Yes, is the answer. And okay, I, you know, I got contacts answer. all over China. I just got <laughs> back from China, and um, they are stockpiling gold like you won't believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the sky's the limit on this stuff. So uh, I like gold. I like oil. You know, the world is in big, big trouble. Well, Joe, we're going to we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks. So please let us know when you'd like to be on. We'll have you on again. Okay. 
All right, sweetheart, I love you. You too. Tell Peppermint Patty I said hi, buddy. Will do. You take okay. care now and get better. I am better. Okay, if I got any better, great. I wouldn't be able to believe it. I'm still a dead ringer for Tom Cruise. We'll be back with Joe DiNapoli in a couple of weeks, folks. Stay tuned. we got a little wrap-up here. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I just saw a 1943-20 print in the... Uh, December gold. This thing has got a lot of friends right now, folks. And as you heard Joe DiNapoli say, his target is roughly $2,700. My goodness, that'll be a lot of money if somebody's long that one. So let's keep a look at, out for the markets here because we've broken down below that key level at 19, uh, 50, excuse me, at 43.53. If you'll remember, we looked at that. We hit a low 43.40 about 20 minutes ago. And now we're having a little bit of a bounce. But the fact that we're below that is a very, very uh, important spot here. I think we've got a message coming in here, something like that. Uh, oh, they're asking me to post a chart, and I'll be happy to do that. If you'll give me just one second, I will get this up here so that you'll be able to see it. And uh, we got the show wrapping up here real quickly. And hopefully we'll be able to get this up to see it. We're talking about the gold market here. You know, we're on a really running market here, folks. The key to this was when we broke out of that high last night around 1.30 in the morning uh, New York time, uh, we were looking at a market that just didn't have any resistance above it. If you remember, that was the big ABCD. It was sitting right at the 50% level and went through that 
Oh, man, what do you mean that's not posted? I said it was posted, but let's just try it one more time, folks, just to see if we can get it right for uh, whatever. Anyway, let's get this up here, and we'll be able to see it here. And hopefully that's it. There you should be able to see. Oh, oh God, I give up. <laughs> I flat out give up. Anyway, that's what we're watching here, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. We'll be having a lot of uh, videos coming in over the weekend. I've got the videos working, and uh, let's hopefully that we'll see some great stuff. Do something for your neighbors if you can, because a lot of them are having a whole lot of problems, and we don't want to see that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.